Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome to Dead by Daylight Alien Chapter. So, where are they? Look up. <laughs> That's so cool looking. Alright, so, Xenomorph has a whole bunch of uh, tubes that you can traverse through on the map. And you have two modes of operation on your bipedal form and then your quadruped form. When you're on all fours, you have a very strong tail attack that has a long reach. Uh, but they, the survivors can knock you out of your power using a flame turret that spawns. Now, here are the perks that you can get. Uh, let's, let's see the main ones. Oh, also, when you are on all fours, your tear radius drops from 32 to 24. So, first perk is Rapid Brutality. You can no longer gain Bloodlust, which is a very, very major nerf. Hitting a survivor with a basic attack gives you 5% haste for 10 seconds. This is not all too useful. It's not even a very good like counter to made for this because made for this survivors have constantly if they're injured so you really have not a lot of time to catch up to a survivor you injure and then down them especially if they have made for this and the thing is uh if you cannot get that first hit uh you're kind of screwed because without bloodlust you can get put into an infinite pretty easily. Next up is Alien Instinct. Perk activates when you hook a survivor. You see the aura of the farthest injured survivor for five seconds, and it makes the survivor oblivious. Now, here's the thing. This is a worse barbecue and chili, and that's about it. It has to be an injured survivor... It's the furthest one away, and it's only one of them. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is one of the worst information perks uh, that we have in the game, I'd say. Ultimate Weapon. When you open a locker, this perk activates for 30 seconds. Survivors entering your terror radius scream reveal their position and gain blindness for 30 seconds. Now... In my initial stream, I said that this is just a better darkness revealed. But this actually has a different purpose. This allows you to open a locker, and then around you, you essentially... It, it, it basically functions a lot like whispers, but if a survivor enters your terror radius, instead of hearing whispers go off, you have them scream. So, it's an interesting side grade to whispers. So... What you'll notice is that most of these perks are worse versions of other perks. One of them even being a worse version of a survivor perk. So that's pretty interesting. The killer himself looks fantastic, though. But we're mainly going to be playing as survivor due to it taking 12 years. Yeah, it will take 12 years to get into a lobby, because the one time I tried playing Killer, it took about 20 minutes. <laughs> so, Ellen Ripley is the survivor, and she looks fantastic. Uh, they did not get the likeness of Sigourney Weaver, which is unfortunate, but I think this works really well, and completely fits the character as well. So, the perks that we have are Chemical Trap. After completing 50% progress on any generator, this perk activates. While standing next to a drop pallet, press the active ability button 2 to install a trap, which stays active for 2 minutes. Aura of trap pallets are revealed in yellow to all survivors. When the killer performs the break action on a trap pallet, the trap explodes, and they are slowed by 50% for 4 seconds. This is a very unique perk, and... It seems like it could be decent. Unfortunately, there is a large requirement uh, on anything other than the Tier 3 version of this perk for finishing generators. It's pretty severe. 
and it's unfortunate. Um, uh, so, yeah, it it can be useful, but unfortunately, you also have to be standing still next to a drop pallet. You can't be running at the time, so it's a bit unfortunate. Next up is Lightfooted, which includes Jonesy the Cat, which is always lovely to see. When you are healthy, this perk activates. Your running footsteps are silent. Perk goes on cooldown for 20 seconds after performing a rushed action. So, basically, this is really good. You are incredibly stealthy, and this is going to be an incredible stealth perk. Beautiful. This is, I, I'd say by far, this is the best perk to get introduced uh, during this chapter. Lastly, we have a Lucky Star. When you hide in a locker, this perk activates. You leave no pools of blood and make no grunts of pain for, 20, uh, for 10 seconds. Exit a locker, you see other survivors and the closest generators or in yellow for 10 seconds. <laughs> so, it's alright. It's a good information perk, uh, relatively. And I assume with Head On, or with Quick and Quiet, that could be a very, very good perk. Situational, but good. That's how I feel about uh, these two, Situational, but good. This is just outright good. Um, yeah. Ooh, imagine how good that perk would be with Flashbang, also. Uh, I'll play with normal perks, and then... Uh, with, with, with nothing but the new perks, and then I'll introduce a, a new build using them afterwards. Alright. Uh, I will see you in the match, unless, uh, unless I see in the idle animations the cat will appear occasionally, so. You know what? How about I just... Hmm, should I wait? I guess we'll wait. Why not? Or not. <laughs> if people are gone, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll cut. All right. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Well, that's a bit sad. We didn't get the map. Uh, but hey, you'll get to see the perks, and uh, you'll get to see the alien soon. Okay. So, oh, there's the alien. Shock Palette is not going to last against me, my friend. You must remember, I used to main Meg. I will drop that pallet faster than you can imagine. Don't care. Do not care if it would be better to be used later on and I should just take the hit. I won't. I refuse. You're going to get the flame turret, sir. Okay, real quick I have to say, one thing that they need to change in, uh, in live release after the PTB, 100% they, they need to remove the beeping sound on the turrets. That is so annoying. I'm gonna get people coming out nearby. I'd assume. Yep, lit the alien on fire. You didn't get to see it just yet, but it'll happen. Okay. The other Ripley just got a gen done. I should finish this one. Oh, that was... Yeah, that's the, uh... Their locker perk. So. That's good. 
Okay. Seems like I will be able to, um... Finish this properly. Probably, probably. I know it's just the emblem for the Nostromo, but that looks so much like a rainbow patch on her. That's not just because I have three pride flags on this outfit. <laughs> Promise. Well, I know where the closest generator is, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. Give me that, please. That turret down. How does, um... How does Made For This interact with, uh... Not Made For This, um... Crap, what's it called? Uh, the... Uh, Any Means Necessary. How does that interact with the pallet perk? Huh. I hadn't thought about that. Eh, whatever. I getcha, man. Beep. Beep, beep. I getcha. It's fine. I think you're overreacting. Oh, run. Now is the time to run. They're still over there. Gosh, I am so based. Give me that flame turret. This dude should just expect it. Like... This area has been... Like, this is the exact same setup I've done each time. It's just understand. Yeah, so this killer has an automatic nerf inbuilt to their kit in two ways. Not just the fact that this gets rid of their main power. Um, this makes it so that they cannot effectively 3-gen. So, yeah, that's a, a definite nerf. Um, oh, well, that's, uh, that's less than ideal. Two people dead at once, okay. Shoot, I was gonna medkit them, but I can't. Don't! I'm literally right here, girl. Why did you not finish your gen? Lisa. Lisa, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, Lisa. What the fuck is going on? Okay, um... Fine, I need that Lisa to continue recovering. I'm just gonna run over there and I'm going to medkit the fuck out of her. Lisa, tap your gen, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna heal myself up, why not?
Yeah, you cannot run uh, with this. You are very, very slow. Oh, that's bad. Um, yikes. Got you, girly. Stay behind me. They're at the other gate. Okay, I need to frickin' run. Hopefully I can open this gate before those two die. Come on, come on, come on. Got it! <sighs> kind of wanted to show off what happens with the uh, the flamethrower, but whatever. You know what? I'm not a big fan of that PTB logo in the corner. Hold on. Let's, um, you know what? Let's just take that PTB logo and let's cover it up. Let's put it right there. Perfect. All right, so... Sorry, Streamlabs was not playing nice when I started the recording. So it didn't start the recording until way after, and oh my gosh, hello Xenomorph. Hopefully he somehow doesn't see me. Oh, he went into that fucking... He went into the hole in the ground here. Let me get you real quick. Was that infectious fright? What just happened? Or was that one of the new perks? It might be one of the new perks. I don't have the, um... Oh, I don't have the ping for this loop. Oh, well. Other than the... The... The perk that gives you haste, uh when you get a hit on a survivor. Uh, it doesn't seem like 
the alien has that many good perks. Honestly, the the whole thing is just it removes bloodlust, which is a sizable nerf, and it makes it so that if you get a hit, uh, you can get some extra speed. So basically, it counters made for this, but if you can't get the first hit on someone, it's kind of worthless. Like, I had a match earlier today that was, uh, just really, really bad. Uh, it was my only, only game playing as the Xenomorph so far, and... Like, due to a combination of, uh... Oh my gosh. Please do not go after- I literally just got unhooked, bro! Please don't. Okay, that's fine. I was off the hook for ten seconds, but... Sure. You can literally see how much I've been able to do due to the perk on my screen. The fact is, I haven't been able to sit still on a gen for very long. I'm just gonna frickin' hide in a corner. And heal. Thank you, Carlos. Due to uh, bad ping, because there was a sizable storm recently, uh, that's really effed up servers and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't blame that person for leaving. Both, we both kinda got sent out of existence unfairly. Trying to put turret right here. And I'm just going to sit here and do a gen. It's all good. Unfortunately, it's not like... Th these games aren't even contributing to, like, achievements or anything. It's like, I, I won't be able to get... Like, I would have gotten the Adept earlier during my stream. Uh, you know, if you, um... Uh, please, I need you to come back. You're fucking kidding me. Thanks, Flamethrower. You were really useful for me. Put the goddamn thing down. Oh, it slowed them. Good. Well, I've got two extra seconds now. Great. Flamethrower, please revert back to your main form. Are you freaking Okay. Come on, flash b Hoping for a flashbang or something, maybe a flashlight, a flashbang, firecracker. What a shame. No no new map yet. Alright, but hey. Uh, now we have a done sparse blocking the PTB thing. I will admit, um, did record the, uh, parts of this episode a bit out of order, so sorry if, uh, it's not perfect. Oh, whoops, I made a mistake. 
It's okay. At least I have a full stealth build. flame turret I'm just going to deploy it I think I'll uh I'm just gonna play stealthy I'm not particularly gonna play team player with altruism but I'll knock out gens and stuff I'll be honest, as much as I enjoy the aesthetic of going through um, tunnels with the Xenomorph, their teleport is way more limiting than Demogorgon, Onryo, and Dredge, so I don't know how I feel. Actually, you know what? I'll keep the flame turret in the shack. I can see that being useful. Oh, but that's, that has collision. It could cause problems for people down the line, but... Well. That's what happens. You got to see the flamethrower finally. Yay. Oh shoot, they're going for a rescue. I'll run. Oh, they didn't actually get to see me because of distortion. Holy crap. That's awesome. There's my other distortion token. Well, didn't help too terribly much. Well, at least we get a good look at the hook. So as you can see here, this hook is special for the alien. I thought that it might be based off of the leaked Stranger Things ones that we saw earlier, but nope, it's different. If you insist, Cheryl, but you're at the most most risk right now. Come on, girly. Oh, sorry. You are not... Wait. You are fully healed. What the fuck? Okay. I was gonna say, you're not fully healed. You are. What the hell happened? I guess we just barely finished healing her. Hmm. <laughs> Strange bug. Things happen. That broy is about to get broiled. Yep. He just broke the flamethrower. Which means he got a little bit toasty. Yep, he's standing up. Or she. Oh, hey, girl, come back. It's 
sucks that I didn't fail a skill check and I still get freaking reprimanded because I was like, oh, hey, c come off the, uh, come off the gen for a second and I'll heal up this other person, you know, I'll be cool like that. No. And there we are. Perfect. Another gen pops. There should be another tube around here where I should be able to get a... Oh, hey, girl. Can I heal you or not? There you are. Okay. Uh, I need to finish this before he finishes the hooking animation. Otherwise, he'd know... Oh, well. Problematic. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna be altruistic. Yes! Got the Cheryl out. Straight up, don't get greedy. If you, if you are a killer playing... Like, do, don't get too greedy with stuff like that. Not worth it. Give me one of these, please. What? Does this have any juice in it? It doesn't. Darn. Oh, well. I have distortion tokens. I have distortion tokens and two turrets. Why am I playing Engineer TF2 here? What the hell? Are you freaking kidding me? They got disabled? Oh no. Calm spirit, iron will. Let's fucking go. Shit, shit. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Why can't you put it down? Cheryl, I need you to take that bitch off my trail. Darn. 
finish my gen, please, at least. At least say I died for something. There we are. Thank you. Oh well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!